sunset it just a little more, would the world be a better place, a nicer place? At MU Health, we're certain of one thing, that yes makes the world a healthier place. Yes is the strength to fight doubt, the fuel to find cures, and the unbreakable resolve to keep pushing further. At Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, yes isn't just changing lives, it's saving them. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, December the 28th. It's a pleasure to have you with us today as we're counting down to 2017. We have Dr. David Newman with us from Hi. Rose Heart Hypnotherapy Success Center. Good to have you here. Thank you. It's David great to be Newman. back. Uh, we, we've got uh, we've, we've got two topics today that we're going to deal with. Number one is stress, uh -huh. and the other one is New Year's uh, resolutions. Okay. Now, we came through a very stressful election period, mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, there were a lot of people stressed out with going into it and coming out of it. I watched my business go up. Yep. <laughs> how uh, how do we best deal? And now we're at the end of the year. How do we deal with stress that is in our life? Okay, if you're looking at the stress of the election, okay, I would refer the people to the Dalai Lama. And the Dalai Lama said, worry is caused when a person attempts to take control over a situation that's totally outside of their control. So don't do it. That's easy for him to say, but in reality, that's a big part of it. Stop and look and say, what in this mess that we've got can I take control of and then own that and take control of that and make the best out of it? You're going to watch your stress levels drop down dramatically. However, in addition to that, um, two things that I would strongly suggest is taking five, maybe ten minutes if out of the day, any time of the day, just for yourself, close your eyes and just breathe. Because a lot of us, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but a lot of us will start doing things and we stop breathing. We literally hold our breath and we're not even aware of it. So just focus on the breathing, and when you focus on breathing, notice how much energy it's taking for you to breathe. And then, you know, give yourself permission to use all of your lungs, because most of us are belly breathers, okay? And so use the whole lung, and notice how much more energy that is, and you'll be surprised to notice how fast the stress starts coming down as soon as you start listening to your body again. So what you're saying is if you feel stressed mm -hmm. about anything, yeah. find a quiet space spot, mm -hmm. sit in a chair, relaxing chair, mm -hmm. close your eyes and just breathe deeply. It doesn't even have to be breathing deeply because a lot of people will sit down there and they'll start the deep breathing thing and then that takes up. Just breathe normally but focus, first of all, where am I breathing? Am I breathing down below or am I breathing up top? Okay. And how much energy is that taking? And once you get a handle on that, then say, okay, now I give myself permission to use all of my lungs. And the way to know that is if I breathe through the belly, my chest and stomach start rising at the same time. If I breathe through the chest, my belly starts rising at the same time as my chest. And just notice how much more energy that takes. And then, here's, here's the real secret, then start focusing on what it is you want to achieve. And you will be surprised the clarity that you get. And all of a sudden, it's almost, some people can visualize real well, some people can't. But the ones that can visualize say, it's almost like watching stepping stones. And I see exactly where I am and where I'm going to be. Now, Steve Jobs used to do something very similar, except he would do it backwards. He would do the breathing, and then he would focus on, this is my outcome that I want. And then what do I have to do going backwards mm -hmm. to do it? And he said when he did that, clarity came to him. So it works either way. Okay. I know the breathing works. Yes. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was having, uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had a lot of things on my mind and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I tossed and I turned and all at once I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this because I remember you talking uh -huh. about it. I was laying in bed and I was, I would take a deep breath in and I was telling myself with every breath I'm taking in, I'm bringing relaxation and sleepiness to my body. And it worked. And then I, I, I exhaled <laughs> and I took another deep breath in, bringing relaxation and sleepiness or drowsiness to my body. The next thing I knew, I woke up later yep, it works. in the morning and I thought, wow, that really did work. I was bringing, I was breathing in relaxation and breathing out the tension. The thing that a lot of people don't understand is what the subconscious believes is true. Is true. Is true. It manifests right. in your life. So a lot of us, 
don't pay attention to that. We listen to the uh, to the conscious mind, which is in the frontal cortex, and it yaps and yaps and yaps. And we think that is our reality. And the subconscious will sit down there and say, okay, if this is what you want, I'll make it happen. Right. And that's why I, I, I firmly believe that. When you focus or believe that something is going to happen, if you really honestly believe it, yeah. It will it, happen. It, it will happen. It will manifest itself, and oftentimes in the most unpredictable ways. All of a sudden, doors just open that you normally wouldn't even see, mm -hmm. but it really happens. Now, right. that ties us into your second topic, which is New Year's resolutions. Oh, New Year, I, don't, I don't make New Year's resolutions. But you just made a New Year's resolution, oh, okay. not to make a New Year's resolution. <laughs> but that's okay. 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 Use the exact same thing when you make your New Year's resolution. Now, most of us make New Year's resolutions really general. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to stop smoking. Okay, but that's real general. I'm going to lose weight. How much weight? Where? When? What time period? You didn't talk about that. So you got to be specific. You got to be more specific. So let's just stop and say, this New Year's, what I'm going to do is just two things and be very, very specific about those two things. And so if it's, for example, I'm going to quit smoking. Okay. That's a general. Let's get to specifics. Uh, let's say that you smoke a pack a day, hypothetically. Okay. I'm going to start cutting down one cigarette a day until I get down to half a pack, and I'm going to do this in two weeks. Okay. Now, that's only cutting down 10 cigarettes. You can easily do that. That's only five a week. And you've so, got to tell yourself that, and you have to exactly believe Exactly. Every, every day, and you have to focus on that. And then you come down the next. And take little teeny-weeny steps towards that big general goal. Because, and then it won't seem so insurmountable. Well, it, that's true. And the other thing is, is that you won't give up. Because the biggest problem is people make these great big grandiose resolutions, and that looks great for a week, and then they give up because it's next to impossible to do. But if you take little teeny weeny steps to achieve that great big goal, all of a sudden it's very doable. Okay. You make sense. Ooh, I sit scary. here and I, <laughs> <laughs> I sit here and I listen to you and you make sense. But I tell you, the breathing, the breathing in and out makes a whole lot of sense. And anybody out there listening to us, if you have trouble going to sleep sometime, to, to, to give it a try because it worked for me. It, it'll yeah. work for anyone. Now, the other thing is when you wake up, okay, because a lot of people do, and they've got tons of stuff going in in their mind. The one thing I always tell my clients is, just focus for a minute on what's going through your mind. Because oftentimes, that's the subconscious either venting stuff out or it's the subconscious trying to get through to you and saying, wait a minute, we've got a problem here and this is how to fix it. Yeah. I, I wake up in the morning and I try to think of all the things that I have to be thankful for. And I think that's a good way to start that's the day. That's an excellent way to start the day. And, and we all have so many things to be thankful well, for. Well, and, and one of the big things is the biggest thing with depression is people don't look at what I've got. What you have. And if you, if you look at what you have, you may find out that you have a lot more than what you think. That's right. You if do. you want more information on this, you can contact Dr. David Newman, Roseheart Hypnotherapy Center at... 888-604-9997 uh, or www.mohyp.com. Okay. Dr. David Newman, thank, thank you. you so much. And Happy New Year to you. Same to you. All right. We'll see you. Tomorrow, Barbara Buffalo will be with us. Bye-bye.